Yes, FM. Stupid news. You're stupid. <laughs> okay, this this is kind of okay. Explain to me how eighty thousand pennies. Ended up on a guy's ex-wife's lawn. Uh, it's not only stupid, it's petty and immature, especially as a father. Mm-hmm. So a Virginia teenager showed her estranged father the meaning of good sense, mm-hmm. C-E-N-T-S, as in the money, right, right. and maturity. And honestly, I think it's absolutely genius what she did. Her name is Avery Sanford. Uh-huh. She hadn't seen her dad in years, right. but he showed up on their front of their house, right. dropped off his final ever child support payment, Mm-hmm. By dumping 80,000 pennies on his ex-wife's lawn. Yeah. Avery said, I just turned 18. I was in the middle of class. My dad came by. He had rented a trailer to fill it with these pennies. Uh-huh. So he spent extra money to do this. Yeah. And then dumped it out on the front yard on the grass. The uh, young lady said, you know what, at that point, they we went outside, picked yeah. up every penny, and I donated all $800 of it uh-huh. to the Safe Harbor Center uh-huh. for Domestic Abuse. What a jerk he is. How do you find 80,000 pennies? I would think you'd have to get them over you have time. To order them. Yeah, go or, to the mint or, or something and get or them. Or go there to the DC. bank over the course yeah. of a few weeks because you've yeah. been planning this. But then he probably spent a couple hundred dollars to rent that stupid trailer. And you know what? His daughter just showed maturity yeah. and heart that he clearly never had. Then there's this gal who says, "I know I'm gonna do a sexy dance with a chair and probably do some twerking or whatever." Oh, only problem is she got stuck in a chair and had to call nine one one. So she was making her own little video for I don't know herself, somebody else, whatever, in know. Ann Arbor, Michigan, uh-huh. and got stuck. Uh-huh. Not just stuck, like super stuck. Yeah. So she had to call 911. Firefighters had to cut the chair off of her body. So yeah. I presume it's like a metal chair uh-huh. with the jaws of life. She said that she was totally freaking out because it was behind her back. And yeah. she said, I could feel it. The metal was vibrating on my bones. And I was praying that I wasn't going to get severed because I was so scissored into yeah. the chair. Yeah. I don't know how she did it. What kind of dance is she doing? And what kind of chair did she choose? I, yeah. And can you imagine being the poor uh, police and fire that had to show up with the jaws of life? I'm sure they've seen worse. From, well, they probably have, <laughs> but this one was probably one of those, boy, have I got a story for you over dinner tonight there, Bruce.